Hi everyone, um, I just want to do an update. Today is the 30th of November. Um, in relation to the High Court case that I'm involved in, I was in the High Court yesterday, 29th November, in relation to these individuals that have um, taken issue with a video of mine, accusing me of uh, defamation. It's been reported on in the papers and the Irish Examiner and the Irish Times, so I can talk about this freely. Um, People probably have seen my previous video, but I've just had a um, word from my legal team now, so I'm just updating people. The we were we were expecting to have a result today as to whether there would be an injunction brought against me for my video, and the judge has decided not to make a decision today. So I'm very pleased about that. Um, it's um, a reserved judgment, meaning the judge will go away and look at this more at at length and um you know give it give it a, a closer inspection i don't know when you know the outcome will be delivered um it could be in a week it might be in a few weeks depends on the judge but i'm very pleased um that an injunction hasn't been brought against me today i'm very pleased that i'm not going to have to take the video down yet um and please i can still you know feel comfortable I suppose it's been really really hard that's all I can say and hopefully you know we'll win but I don't know and like I said earlier whatever the outcome I have no regrets I, I've done nothing wrong all I've done is speak out to um, address this quackery which is what MMS is and protect children autistic children from this um, quack treatment and I just want to thank a few people. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. It's been really, really hard week. I've been just, it's just been so busy working with journalists on other stories in relation to our campaign, especially regarding David Noakes, who was sent to jail this week for giving an unregulated blood product to cancer patients and autistic children. He's been jailed for 15 months. And, you know, I've been very much involved in the reporting of that and talking to the authorities for the last four years. And um, I might be on the radio on Sunday morning. I was talking to the BBC earlier today. They rang me about David Noakes. Um, I'll have to just check the details because I got an email there now. And uh, I've just been so busy with other things, obviously, with the case and that. So I will tell people more about that when I get the information. The, um, the main thing for me is that the injunction wasn't given to Mr. Gilroy today and that we are... And I'm thankful, actually, that we have a judge that is looking at this in a balanced way. And and I have a great legal team. I suppose that's what I really want to just um, say huge thanks to my legal team, to Ross and McMahon and Tricia, um, who have represented me from the start. And they're doing a great job. And I want to thank my family again, my mum and my husband, Timmy, and my wonderful children who have, um, you know, obviously gone through a lot of upset for me going up and down to the high court and the stress that this is bringing and especially to my friends and colleagues people that work with me in our campaign Sinead and Melissa and Yvonne I've already mentioned you before and everyone else on Twitter Twitter I've got a lot of support on Twitter and uh, you're great people and I hope that this ignites like I said a bigger debate around this issue that's what I want from this even if the injunction is granted it's okay you know we're going to still keep campaigning and I think that this might even show how important um, freedom of speech around this issue is. Um, people come to me and say, oh, everyone should be allowed to do what they want. I don't agree with that. You know, some, some freedom of speech is, is hurting children. This promotion that we are challenging a lot. And I've been working actually with a journalist in relation to this, the platforms that are given to these quacks. This is something that we need to really address and um, so I'm hoping that all of this will help people look at that closely again. Um, tomorrow's the 1st of December and Christmas is coming and I have had no time to even think about that. I've got a fake tree behind me there, a purple tree. Um, and I, I'm just glad that I have a bit of time to have some normality, I suppose, because it hasn't been normal. It's just been so stressful over the last few months and I, I just feel a lot stronger 
I suppose, you know, I faced a lot yesterday. It was a horrendous experience. This mob, you know, with Jim Corr and Patrick Merlin, all these people, you know, it, it was it was testing. That's all I can say. But I realise how important the work is now. Well, I've always realised it, but even more so after this experience. And it's not over. You know, I'm still in trouble, I suppose, um, with this issue. But that's okay, because I know why I'm doing this and I know it's the right thing to do so thank you everybody and um, I hope you have a great weekend and watch the toy show and enjoy things and just switch off and I'll update you about the BBC if I'm on radio on Sunday and yeah I'm happy I'm actually happy and I'm going to enjoy tonight with my kids and um, for all the quacks watching just to let you know that your anger and your comments calling me horrendous things. I've been defamed literally a hundred times overnight and slandered and abused. They don't work. They don't impact me. They make me stronger. And all it does is reflect how awful you are and what you're doing. So maybe you need to wise up. If you really want to try and, um, you know, continue on in what you're doing, it doesn't look good, Amanda or Kerry. Um, I probably will be doing an update about Kara Vera later because she's gone off the wall. She's sharing bottles of MMS and saying it, it, it protects you from precancerous cells. I mean, these people are just deluded, but um, thanks. Thanks, everybody. And um, the injunction hasn't been granted yet. So we just keep on going on. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.